uh, hats off to um, Coach Bell and the Pitt Panthers. They got it done. Um, you know, they've got a good club, older club, just like everybody. And, um, you know, Platt stuck it to us pitching. And 19 strikeouts is absolutely unacceptable and alarming, and it's going to get fixed. Questions? Yeah, just taking a look at it, um, the lineup did work a lot of deep counts, but a lot of those didn't end the way that you wanted. Um, is being more aggressive early on in the count just a mental thing that the guys have to get through? I'm not sure. Um, again, I, this this is like I said in the, after the first weekend when we were walking people pitching wise is something that you know, we hadn't seen, and they've been going against a great pitching staff. Yes, we have some swing and miss in our lineup, but it hasn't, you know, been anywhere to this level. Um, and again, I'm not taking away their arms. They got, they got dudes, and um, they pitched us tough, and we got to do better. Like you kind of just said that, you know, you guys expected to have some swing and miss in the lineup coming into the season. I guess just how do you combat that in big moments and when you're trying to manufacture runs? We're going to start using get different guys. We're going to find out who can do it when, you know, make decisions in regards to pitch selection and um, balls in the middle third of the plate, early in the count, late in the count, whenever. Um, or, again, I'm going to find guys that can do it or die trying, one of the two. Was the, the move to pinch at Nico, was that playing the matchup? Was that what went into that move? Yeah, I thought, you know, he was, you know, a lot tougher against righties and he tends to go away from the breaking ball against lefties and thought it was a better matchup. Um, you know, EC's been, you know, on the shelf kind of, he's been seeing live pitching, but it's not like, you know, everybody else. There's days he had to miss and I just felt like that would give us a better shot. What did you see from Parker tonight in his response to his uh, rough opening day outing? Yeah, that was that was classic vintage Parker Messick. You know, he pitched inside, he changed speeds, um, his usual competitive self, and um, it was good to see. And I know he feels a lot better. Um, four walks will clean up, um, but they they did a good job offensively. They went into some counts, and uh, there's a couple of you know, I forget what it was. I think mean, breaking ball that he missed with, that missed up with, and. You know, if he finishes, he gets it out front and finishes the pitch, he might get a swing. And um, but he was, it was Parker Messick. Hunter Purdue's uh, debut, obviously a long time in the making. I guess how do you kind of evaluate him, and how nice for him to get that moment after what he's, I mean, all he's been through since getting here. Yeah, he's definitely had a quite the journey. Um, it was good to see him have some success. Um, there was three guys that we didn't get in last weekend pitching wise that really bummed me out. Uh, one was him, um, Wyatt Kroll was the other, and Andrew Armstrong was another one that, um, you know, we're going to run guys out. we got to see what they can do. we got to find the pieces of the puzzle. And it was great to see Hunter coming in and grew very well. Kept his composure and everything was checked all the boxes. Meet early returns on Nander. I don't know why they're just him batting righty exclusively, but uh, do you like him still at the eight hole or is he a guy that you might tinker around with or just leave him as is and how satisfied are you with him thus far? I, I am pleased with, you know, some improvements that he's made. You know, again, it always goes back to pitch selection and hit what you should hit and take what you should take. And, you know, we're not there exactly there yet, obviously, with anybody, but um, his decision-making has been better and you know, we're pleased with where he's at. He made a tough play up the middle as well, and um, I'm happy for him, proud of him. We need him. You guys had your first uh, error-free game of the night tonight. Just how much, how more, com how much more comfortable are you with your defense this year at this time of the season than you were last year? Definitely more comfortable. Guys have got more time at certain spots, and um, you know, feel like we can continue to grow and then improve upon the defense. And um, the communication still isn't, you know, what I want. Um, there's been too many instances in which, whether it's not loud enough or, you know, plays that call for, you know, verbiage, uh, but we're getting, we're getting better. 
Anything else? Yeah, thanks, thanks guys. guys.